morning, sir. Same to you. Well, 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 well. Oh, I beg your pardon, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. You shouldn't have black cats in the house. It's bad luck. No! Oh, sir, your trousers. I see you're down early for breakfast this morning, sir. Give me a pile. Graves. Graves, where are you? Come here. Coming, Mr. Ball. What's the matter with the old garbage can? Somebody stole it, Mr. Ball. Oh, nothing is safe. I thought I just bought you a new car a couple of months ago. Well, I turned it in as a down payment on the Lugetti, and they're getting kind of restless. Tell the chef the world isn't made of butter. You mean to tell me you turned in a perfectly good, free and clear, paid-up American car for a foreign jalopy? Tell him to try lard. Oh, but Mr. Ball, the chef says... It's all right what the chef says. Tell him he can fry an egg very nicely in lard. Tell him I said so. I told you 9,000 times never to buy anything on time payments. Even a, even a cat should understand that. I certainly should. <laughs> I'll tell you why. How much did you pay for the car? $11,000. So you paid $11,000 for a second-hand spaghetti. Now, wait a minute. I've waited for 20 years to find out that I was the father of a, of a butterfly, a, a, a muttonhead. Well, I think you're being slightly offensive, Father. Oh, you think I'm offensive, do you? Well, let me tell you something. If anybody called me a, a loafer and a pile of snake, I'd knock their block off even if it was my own grandfather. Well, we don't do that to our grandfathers these days. Take it away! What your grandfather would have done to you is nobody's business. I remember when I was about your age. I was out all night <laughs> playing, see? And when I... <laughs> well, I'll put a thousand dollars to your account in the bank. Don't bother. Huh? I said don't bother. I'm very grateful for the room and board, but not at these prices. The cooking isn't good enough. The cooking isn't good enough. No. Oh, Graves, where are you? Come here. The cooking isn't good enough. And I'll tell enough. you something else that isn't good enough. It's being a banker's son. Everybody thinking you're a fool who couldn't make a nickel on his own, an income poop living on his father's charity. Oh, Pooh, I was a banker's son, and up until I was 26 years old, I was just as dumb as you are. <laughs> yes, indeed, sir. <laughs> but after a while, all the fat fell off my brains, and I... Say, how old are you? Old enough to earn a very good living without any help from you, or your sneering friends. And if any of my sneering friends ever gave you a job, I'd have their head examined. That's what you think. I'm going to make you eat those words. That's all you'll be eating. Possibly. Probably. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. Yeah, you better take this... Uh, what is this? Uh, madam told me to give it to you, sir. Jenny? Jenny, where are you? Ah, hiding, huh? I am not hiding. What do you mean by buying another fur coat? You want me to look nice, don't you? After all, the wife of the fourth biggest banker... I beg your pardon, the third biggest banker. Well, the third biggest banker... Yes, and you know well enough I'm the third biggest banker. What's the matter with the other fur coats you got? Well, I haven't any to speak of. Besides, they're out of style. Out of style? How can a fur coat get out of style? A skunk smells the same today as he did in 1906. Now, where is it? I won't tell you. Jenny, you're being very childish in this matter. All I've got to do is open these doors. Here, wait a minute! Holy smoke. Well, what about this one? What about... <laughs> what about this one? That... that that's Kolinsky. Oh. Well. I guess you've got me, Jenny. You're not as smart as people think you are. Oh, that's right, that's right. I think I'll take this Kalinsky for a consolation. You give me that coat! No, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Just... Here! Jenny! Oh, Bring that coat back here! Jenny! Jenny, open the... 
open this door. Jenny, give me that. Give me that coat. I open it. <laughs> You're making yourself very ridiculous. Now open the door. Nobody thinks of my blood pressure at all. Jerry! Good morning, sir. Morning, Chosen. Justin, or whatever your name is. I beg your pardon, Martin. Yes, ma'am. Thank Jenny. you. Can I speak with you a moment, my love? Jenny, pardon me, Martin. Jenny? Just a minute, my dear. Jenny, come in. Hey, turn things again, huh? Jenny! Jenny? Jenny. Oh, it's you. Did you see Mrs. Ball up here? No. Uh, no, sir. Did she tell you to say that? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, 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 but, but, but I mean... Uh, you, you mean? I know what you mean. Jenny? Now that you've made us both look ridiculous... But I tell you, Mr. Ziggle won't take it back. He told me so. They were especially grown in Russia. Give it to me! Julie, you can't get your money back. You'll have to pay for it. There simply isn't a thing. Hand it over, hand it over. Well, now that you've got it, what are you going to do with it? Eat it? I'll show you what I'll do with it. Idea anyway. Kismet. Watch your step, please. You think so? Listen to me, you. What? Do you want me to fry in lard? Well, what about it? Go and fry yourself in lard, you dirty capitalist. Why, you? Yours. Well, look at the label and see if it doesn't say A.B. Zicklin Company. You work for a living? Yes, that's right, all right. What? Why, of course I do. <laughs> well, I, well, I don't see what business that is of you. Say, look what you did to my hat. Do you own a fur coat? No, I don't, but I still <laughs> that's don't. That's where you're wrong. <laughs> you own that one. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> now, just a minute, Santa Claus. Huh? What's the matter with it? Is it hot? I don't know. I've never worn one. What kind of fur is it, anyway? Zebra. Anything else you want to know? Yes, I'd like to know how you get a... Let me give you a piece of advice, young lady. Don't be too wise. Don't think you know all the answers. Things have been done for people. Many nice things. Remember that. Well, what do you want? Uh, say, um, could you lend me ten cents? Lend you? Of course I can. It's payday, and I forgot when I got off that it was my last dime, and I... Well... Of course, if you're short. Well, of course I'm not short. Don't be silly. You mean to take a bus? Oh, what's the matter with this bus? Oh, no. Oh, hop in, hop in. The boys want? The boys' constant companion. Very well, madam. It's a magazine for boys. Yeah, I never heard of it. 
we have over a million readers. Well, you haven't got me. Stop at a hat shop. Yes, sir. Oh, no, really, you mustn't know that. That's terribly sweet of you, but I haven't got time in any way, my goodness. This well, if I can keep waiting what's waiting for me, I guess the boy's constant reminder can uh, wait a few minutes a, also. A companion, boy's uh, constant All right, companion. companion. Yeah. You know, I was going to buy a fur coat. You can get them for $2 a week and 1% and on the balance. 1% a month? Yes, isn't it wonderful how they can do it for so little? So little? That's 25% yeah. a year. Uh, no, 1% a month is 12% a year. Now, you, of course, don't know who I am, but I'm very good at computing interest. Well, I'm, I'm sure you are, but having passed through high school myself, I think I can safely say that 1% a month is... Wait a minute, months. wait a minute, wait a minute. You owe $100. You're paying off at the rate of $2 a week or $8, uh, 66 and two-thirds cents a month. You mean $8 a month? There are four weeks in a month? Now. I beg your pardon, madam. There are four and one-third weeks in a month. Otherwise, we'd only have 48 weeks in a year. You mean leap year? No, no, I don't mean leap year. If I meant leap year, I would have said leap year. At the end of six months, you would have paid $52, but you're still paying... 12%? At the end of 49 weeks, you will have paid everything but $2, so you're paying 600%. You know, you don't have to get mad just because you're so stupid. Don't talk to me uh, like... Uh, you don't seem to understand... What do you mean? 12 I don't times know. 1 can't possibly be 600. All right. 12 all times 1 is 12. All now, I don't all know what right. I mean. I just think a small child would be able to... All understand. right, let's forget all about it. Uh, right. Right. Uh, this isn't mink, is it? Huh? Ooh, of course it isn't. That's Levinsky. You mean Kalinsky? Why, you, you shouldn't be giving away a real Kalinsky. I'll tell you, we'll, we'll look at it another way now. A farmer borrows a hundred cows, you understand? He borrows a hundred cows. Now, how much did the farmer pay? Twelve cows. Don't you like this one either? I do now. Looks like a salt shaker. <clears throat> well, we think it's very recherche. What's the trouble with it? <clears throat> oh, watch this. <clears throat> ah! We, uh, we prefer to handle these ourselves. Uh, 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 yourself. Uh, try this. Oh, fur. <laughs> Why, that's genuine sable. Let's try it with a coat. Huh. Now you're talking. Oh. <laughs> oh, I haven't any money with me, but uh, well, uh, here's my card. I, and uh, send me the bill. Yes. Uh, Come on. Uh, oh, uh, will you uh, put my old hat in the bag, please? A uh, bag? Yeah. Why, my dear, we'll send it to you in a Rolls Royce. Uh, uh, the address? Mary Smith, uh, 725 West 112th Street. Uh, come on, I've got to get to work. A bag. Uh, uh, goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. Just that coat? Huh? Uh, my dear, you don't realize that was the bull of Broad Street. The what? The bull. Oh, oh. the bull. The bull. Goodbye. Goodbye. And keep the moths out of Levinsky. <laughs> I will. I don't know how to thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, you didn't tell me your name. Oh, excuse me. I'm so Good morning, Miss Clark. Oh, I, I know I'm late, but I'll stay and make it up. Pretty, isn't it? Morning. 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 Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, please. No, 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 no. Ball. 
J.B. Ball, himself in person. The Bull of Broad Street. With a girl in the sablest sable coat they ever sabled. Well, wherever there's smoke, there must be somebody smoking. <clears throat> Mary Smith. Now, don't breathe a word of it to a soul. Not even a soup song. <laughs> to Leroux. <laughs> You expect us to believe, Miss Smith, that a complete stranger, having dropped a valuable mink coat... Oh, it isn't mink. It's, it's Kalinsky. Mink or Kalinsky, uh, whatever that is. It's mink. It is not mink. Well, I ought to know mink. My mother had a little chip. It, it doesn't is not really mink. matter. The thing that does matter is that you expect us to well, believe... Well, I know it, it's terribly unusual, and I suppose if anybody told me that... It's I'd most never... unusual. So unusual, in fact, that... This, this is a boy's magazine, you know. Well, what about it? The boy's constant companion regrets that it will no now, longer no, require no, Wait a your... minute. <laughs> wait a minute now. I'll tell you. Uh, uh, you see, um, I didn't want you to know that I was so extravagant. And uh, I suppose it was awfully foolish of me to try to tell you. Uh, I'm no good at making up stories at all. You see, I bought the coat out of my own savings, yes. And, and I thought that you'd think that I... Uh, that... Well, so... Well, that's why I was late. Where did you buy it? Uh, Ezekiel's. And how much did you pay for it? Oh, uh, well, I I don't see why I should have to tell you. That coat cost four hundred dollars. If it cost it a... did not. It cost a it cost a hundred and sixty two seventy nine. Now we're getting somewhere. Give me uh, Zico's fur store, please. Oh, well, I. Uh, Oh, I, I don't know really if it, it cost exactly $162.79. See, it's the first fur coat I ever sell a Kalinsky coat this morning for... Uh, yes, uh, well, well, anybody who's liable to make a mistake, they have loads of prices there. Uh, you did not? Nothing under $500? Thank you very much indeed. I believe that's all, Miss Smith. As I said before, the ethical requirements of the boy's constant companion uh, well, it did hit me on the head. <laughs> <laughs> Just be careful you don't get hit by a diamond bracelet. <laughs> Glad to hear you're feeling better, John. Thank you, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Get Mrs. Ball for me. Good morning. Pardon me. Mr. Ball just arrived. He wants to talk to Mrs. Ball on the phone. How's your wife this morning, Graves? Very good, sir. How's that new baby coming along? Good morning, Mr. Ball. Morning. Mr. Ball's already left the house. Morning, Mr. Ball. Oh, that's too bad. Here are these consolidated bombs you asked for. What did you say about Mrs. Ball? I said Mrs. Ball has already left the house. She's gone to Florida. She says you don't need fur coats in Florida. She said all you need in Florida is a bathing suit and an amiable... All book. right, all right. Anybody waiting for me? Mr. Louis is waiting, Mr. Ball. At 11.30, you have a meeting Mr. with... Mr. Who? Mr. Louis Louis. You know, Hotel Louis. At 11 o'clock, you have a meeting with the consolidated... Oh, he is, is he? Well, send him right in. At 11 o'clock, you have a meeting with the Consolidated National. At 12, the delegation from Peru. At 12.30, lunch at the Bankers Club with Mr. Van Alstenville. Very important. All right, all right. Don't forget to be back here at 2.30. Mr. Louis. Yes, yes, yes. You may go in now. No, 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 no. Just a minute, just a minute. Just. Ah. Rabbit's feet. Mr. Louie, Mr. Ball. Take your hat off. Oh, excuse me. Well, Mr. B, the bonds are due today, so here I am. Johnny on the spot. That's fine. Then you don't have to bother me. Go downstairs to the window marked loans, the big window. Mr. B, you and I just get along like this. Just like Mike and I. Did you come here to pay or what? Yes, I come here to pay my respects. Because in the whole world of financial... Listen, you. You're three years behind on your first mortgage, two years behind on your second, and one year behind on your third. Mr. B, what do I know about such things? <laughs> the Hotel Louis must succeed because it is the best. But, excuse me. Now think. Think of my Rose Villa, la J.B. Ball. Yeah, yeah, everybody knows you're the finest cook in the world. 
but you don't know anything about business. Now, you get back into that kitchen where you belong, you'll be better off. Now, you're foreclosed. I'm doing you a favor. Oh, Mr. B, please. Give me six months. Oh, not on your tin type. Well, uh, just give me six weeks. I'll give you a week. What can I do in a week? All right, I won't give you a week. All right, I'll take a week. Bye-bye, I must go. I am in a hurry. What are you going to do? Well, I don't know, but uh, I got a week to do it in. Down. Oh, excuse me. How can such a phenomenon be a flop? Louis! Louis! Look, you might, uh, this might be a little bit more uh, comfortable. I'll, uh... Louis! 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 What is it? What is it? Louis, who do you suppose was in my salon this morning? What I suppose was in your salon? Yes. <laughs> what I need is something in my salon. Something like, uh, like a convention. And quick. <laughs> You'll uh, never guess. <clears throat> all right, all right. I'll play a riddle with you. Who? The Bull of Broad Street. <clears throat> bull? The Bull of Broad Street. With a chicken. Chickens? Mm. Bulls? What do I care? You don't mean the Ball of Bull Street. That's just what I'm trying to tell you. With a twelve? With a dancing partner. <laughs> you got the dope? The dance name, the hangout, et cetera, et cetera? I have, but I haven't the slightest idea of parting with a scrap of it. Mr. Van Burns, with a little corruption from you, the curfew shall not ring next week. Oh, thank you, thank you. Sorry, Walford. I'm sorry, sir. How many times I told you not to creep? There's a Miss Smith to see you, Mr. Louie. What? What? Why don't you say so? Get out of my way. Yes. Where is my coat tail? Here. Boy, get me a flower. Yes, sir. 
How can you think of girls at a time like this? Girls, girls, girls. She's the girlfriend of our first, second, and third mortgage. What's the matter with you? Eh? She's got to live here. With little Smithy in the house, not even a monster can foreclose. What's the matter with you? You think I'm a stiff? Yeah. No, sir. Put it back in the icebox. Yes, sir. Meet me, Gurney. This is the last cheese in the trap. Uh, uh, oh, Mick Smith? Uh, yes. Yeah, a pleasure. <laughs> sit down, sit down. Oh. oh, excuse me my liberty of sending you myself a telegram. You look exactly as I thought, only 100% much better. Well, well, thank you very much. I don't know how you ever heard of me, but I'm Miss sure Miss Smith, I'm a man like right. this. I don't beat around the bush to come in the back door. I tell you, this is where you belong, and this is where you got to be. Well, I'm perfectly willing. <laughs> I don't Until you have much lived in the Hotel Louis, you ain't. <laughs> I have to live here? I insist. Please do me a favor. And now take a peek, huh? At what? Uh, uh, this way, I'll show you. This way, after you. Uh, this way, please. This way. The Imperial Soul. Yes, sir. Excuse me, please. First reception rooms. Nice, eh? Second reception room. The kitchen. Oh, for hanging pictures. Very handy. Excuse, please. Third reception room. Main saloon. Fireplace. It makes us more homey. Piano. You tickle the ivories? Right. It needs tuning. Some joint, huh? Yes. For everything you wish, we anticipate, even before you think. Now look, ah, service. Mm, yeah, that's good. <laughs> new, everything new. <laughs> Excuse me, this way. For reception room. Mm. Ah. Oh, kitchen. Ah. I knew it was hanging around here someplace. Gas box. What? They tell me it works with gas, but I don't believe it. First bedroom. Ah, hot see, huh? <laughs> there. Yes. Invisibles. <laughs> Fifth reception room. <laughs> Undressing room. Ah. Two way mirrors. Huh? Every old hotel has got three. <laughs> Plunge. What's it for? For wash. Golly. Gymnasium. What's that? A horse. A horse. Mm, excuse me. Some fun! <laughs> hey, nice fellow. <laughs> oh, excuse, please. Uh, now, uh, last but not least, uh, excuse me. Uh, your bedroom. 
My bedroom. Nice place to flop, huh? Couldn't you be cozy here, huh? Well, <laughs> yes, it's, it's cozy, all right, but, but I don't think I understand. Uh, how much would you pay me? How much would I pay you? For what? Well, for, for whatever it is. Don't you think you should pay me a little bit of something? For what? For what? For what? I thought showing you the dining room, the kitchen, the bedroom, the, the horse. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, are you trying to rent me this little number? Exact. Is that why you sent for me? Certainly. <laughs> I think you've got the wrong Smith. You think so? <laughs> I'm sure of it. Just a minute, just a minute. Mary Smith, yeah. West 112th Street. Yeah. You bought a hat this morning? Yes. Oh, you're the right Smith. But how did you uh, know? This is where you belong. A beautiful young girl like you has got to have a background. This is what you call a background. <laughs> I should say it is. No matter where you look, you'll never find another background. Go so far back. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Louis, but look, I couldn't afford even the... I couldn't afford any of it. Just a minute, sir, just a minute, sir. That's what you think, my dear young lady, but uh, I'll tell you something confidential. The management will make some concessions. <laughs> well, that's awfully sweet of you, Mr. Louis, uh, but even if you... We'll need you more than a half a way. Look, even if you came the whole uh, way, uh, wouldn't now, they... Now, listen, listen, listen. What are you paying now? Seven dollars. No, no, no. I said, what are you paying now? I mean, rent, rent. Seven dollars. Seven dollars. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? <laughs> yes, with breakfast, one egg. No, no, let me see. Seven dollars. Seven times seven, fifty-six. Uh, minus that. My dear young lady, could you make it... Not seven times seven, Mr. Louis. One times seven. Seven dollars a week. A week? With breakfast. Oh, one egg. Seven dollars a week with a gymnasium. You drive in a hard bargain, my dear young lady. Seven dollars a week. But, Mr. Louis, I... It is I yours. Would... But I don't it want... It is yours. You want breakfast, you got it. But look, I, I would... I want you here. One egg, two eggs, three eggs. Ostrich egg. What do I care? I'll send a truck and move you in millions. You can't, I owe for the week. <laughs> Well, 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 we'll pay it. Why? Uh, why? 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 I'll tell you why. I don't beat around the back door to come down in the cold shoots. Uh, come here, please. Come here. Look. You see them lights going on and off? Yes. That's bell boys. They switch the switches so the people don't know that my hotel is a fizzle. Now, that's, of course, a strictly confidential. Oh, what a shame, Mr. Louis. But I'm with so you sorry. here, anyway, I have some legitimate lights in my towers. Oh, I see what you mean. You can do also me a little favor, too. What? The next time you see Mr. Ball... Mr. Who? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have mentioned names. The next time you see that certain party without a name, would you tell him what a beautiful layout we have here? What a beautiful, classy service we have here? Will you tell him that under no circumstances you will not move? Tell who? That certain party in the prayer. Whatever he does, the most good. Oh, you mean you want me to boost your hotel? That's the exact word. I could not have said that in ten years. Boosted in the right place and soon. Well, I'll do my best, Mr. Louis. N and loud. Yeah, and loud. And how? Tootsie, <laughs> hootsie.
If I hadn't seen it, I wouldn't have believed it. I've seen a lot of things today I never would have believed. Yeah. I seen you somewhere. I don't think so. I didn't get to the waiter's ball this year. Oh, neither did I. Uh, were you at the Junior League dance? Were you at Mrs. Astor's on Thursday? No, I couldn't get away oh, in time. Oh, too bad. It couldn't have been nicer. Really? Were you in Palm Beach in February? Were you in St. Moritz Christmas? No, I couldn't make that either. Well, I couldn't make it either, so I guess we haven't met. By the way, I hear the beefsteak pie is a magnificent six nickels. And for three nickels more, you can get a great Oh, shut up. I'm sorry. I thought part of my job would be to suggest things. Yes, well, if you can suggest where to get the nine nickels, I might take your suggestion. Otherwise, don't go around putting ideas into people's mouths. I'm sorry. What's the matter? Haven't you any, uh... Listen. You in again. You go over to the hot dish window. Hot see? kiss window? What's the matter? You got something wrong with your teeth? I said hot dish window, smarty. You go over there and pick out what you like, see? And I'll go in back and work the gag. I'm allowed in back. Say, what are you trying to do? Land us all in the ch Ugg? I'll put the nickels in when I get paid, and you can pay me back sometime. I'm not that hungry. Don't be a sucker, sister. That beef pie is a wow. Suppose they see you. Well, I'll say the gag was stuck. Now go on, I'll meet you behind the grapefruit. No, no, wait, wait. Dory, I'll see you with the beef pies. I mean, the gag isn't working. Neither are you, buddy. Come on. Now, listen, don't start pushing me around. Now, don't get hard. I'm not as soft as I look. Oh, you think so? I think so.
food! Food! Come on, folks, right here for food! All free food, let's go! future to it anyway. A slave for 20 years and you're, you're still behind the nut salad. I know, but that's awful. That's, that's terrible. Have you got any money saved up? Money? Oh. No. Now, you see, when you're working, you ought to save your money. And then when you're re resting, you can eat. Mm -hmm. Like you. No, not like me. But when you're hungry, no busboy's going to lose his job trying to feed you. Yes, there's something in that. More than meets the eye. Have you got a place to sleep? Oh, sure. Where? <coughs> Avenue Park Avenue. What? Park Avenue. Oh, in the park. Mm-hmm, in the park. Well, supposing the guy does go in well, the park. Well, I think you'd better come up to the Louis and we'll talk it over. The Louis? Okay. You live at the Louis? Sure. Then what were you doing in the automat? Eating. Oh. Wait a minute. Just why did he want you to live here? He said the lights in his tower were illegal, and if I came and lived here, it would be all right or something or other. I don't really know what he meant. Yes, boss. A what? It runs by gas, but we don't believe it. Oh. Boys, bedroom. What's he say? Are you sure he didn't say anything else? He said I should put in a good word for the place with anybody I met, and you're the first person I met, so I brought you right over. <laughs> Look, in Wizard World. Glass to you. Fifth, uh, re uh, you know, he did say something about telling somebody something or other, but then he said he shouldn't mention names and he was sorry or something. I don't know. Who? Mr. Louie, you know, I think the guy's crazy. No, 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 no. <laughs> what name did he mention and then say that you shouldn't mention? Well, he said... Uh, uh, bo uh, Bull. Bull. Yeah. That's funny. My name's Bull. That's funnier still. What? That was it. That was what? That was the name he said. Ball? Yes. Not to bed so early, sir. Oh, what is it to you? Oh, there's nothing like it, sir, for a dull night. Uh, uh, will that be all, sir? What did she take with her? Twelve trunks, sir. Seventeen suitcases. Three jewel boxes. Oh, and an umbrella, sir. Why an umbrella in Florida? Well, we thought it ill-advised, sir. Would that be all, sir? My son come in yet? Not yet, sir. What did he take with him? He took nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Fathead, sir. I said my son was a fathead. Indeed, sir. Uh, it had escaped us, sir. Uh, will that be all, sir? No, sir. I mean, yes. Uh, pack me a bag and take it down to the club. This but place is getting clammy. Yes, sir. Uh, no, wait a minute. I've changed my mind. The club was deader than this is. 
Uh, take the bag to the rich. Very good, sir. No, no, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Uh, you better take it to the Hotel Louis. Certainly, sir. The Hotel Louis, you know. Oh. Yes, <laughs> Just pour yourself into these, dear, and fall in a faint. <laughs> dear, I want you to try these on without any obligation whatsoever. After all, you know, you're practically my discovery. Uh -huh. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> you know, there's something awfully phony about this. Are you just beginning to find that out? What do you mean you wouldn't publish it in your column, Mr. Wallace? In the second place, it is the truth. And in the third place, she lives here, right here in the Hotel Louis. The rendezvous of the bon ton. I don't know who you got living here, but I tell you the old man don't buy fur coats for dames. If anybody knew, it would be me, wouldn't it? I'm telling you, she is. He does, but you don't. I don't what? You don't know what's going on in New York. I don't know what's going on you in New York. You just ain't up to date. I just ain't up you to date. You just lost the grips. Listen, you greasy little hamburger. Hamburger, answer. <laughs> Mr. Ball's at the desk, Mr. Louis. Shh. Mr. B, yes. How long does it take to get a room in the shebang? Oh, Mr. B, what a sight for eyesore. <laughs> huh? I want a room with a bath. Room with a bath. Uh, now, let me see. Now, the imperial suit is already occupied. <laughs> Give me the key of the royal. I don't want the royal. I want a room with a bath. All right. Give me the key of the Prince of Pilsen suit. I don't want the prince's suit. I want a room with a bath. But a room with the bath, it cannot be up in the tower. Mm. What do I want to be in the tower for? You don't mean to tell me you don't want to be near the imperial suit? <laughs> What for? Give me a plain double room with a bath. Naturally with a bath. You don't think we use the rain barrel, do you? The... Uh, excuse me, uh, the just the jokes. <laughs> uh, after you, Mr. B. It is an unexpected pleasure to have you here, Mr. B. I just moved in for the funeral. There's the last course laughs the longest. Oh, uh, Mr. Louie, I was <laughs> just looking for you. Uh, 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 yes. Huh? Oh, hello. Hello, Santa Claus. How do you do? How are you getting along? Uh, All right. You know each other, eh? Uh, <laughs> well, 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 well. <laughs> you live here? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Mr. Louie made me a very special race. With breakfast. <laughs> yeah, one egg. <laughs> uh, oh, that's what I want to talk to you about, Mr. Louie. I was wondering if I could have the egg now instead of in the morning. You morphine. mean now? Yeah. Don't you think supper would be a better idea? Oh, I don't think I'm entitled to supper. Entitled. <laughs> she entitled. <laughs> you name it, and we'll wrestle it up. Quick. <laughs> Ernest, Ernest. What's Take that? an order. Now. Now, I should thing you should have, you should have. Now, uh, here. Now, a little uh, snack of blob style, a financier. No, 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 not at all. Have you any guinea hen? Yes, sir. 
Breast of Guinea hen on Westphalian hand. Guinea hen? Uh, what I am thinking about? Naturally. <laughs> and a little salad with uh, orange and avocado. No, uh, no, and even beetroot. And don't forget the truffles with the guinea hen. Uh, and even beetroot. Uh, yes, that's right. But uh, uh, may I make a suggestion? A uh, little bottle of 1923 mumps, uh, don't you think? No, I do not. I think she should have uh, George Goulet in 1990. With guinea hen? You heard me. Mm. And a bomb surprise for the end. You are uh, good and hungry now, yes? Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> now, nah, Ernest, serve for two up in the imperial suits and uh, make it snappy. Mm. Gotcha. Mm. Uh, please, uh, thank you. Ninth floor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello, silly desk. Kill that license door, bless it a bit, and lead off with... What leading international financier? Make that flash. What leading international financier has gone with his wife over a beautiful gal at the Hotel Louis? Take the lady the imperial suits. Yes, sir. What was that young lady's name? What's the young lady? Mary Smith. Smith? Mm, exact. I thought it was Jones. <sighs> what a diplomat. That's one of the finest suppers I ever supped. Oh, that's not right. Yes, it is, too, supped. No, it's just like Arabian Nights or something. Except you don't look much like Prince Charming. You know, we used to have a chef years ago that could fix the guinea hen just like that. It's one of my father's favorite dishes. Poor old father. Say, he must have been pretty rich at one time. Who? Your father. I mean, to have a chef and all like that. Oh. Oh, yes. Has he been dead long? Well, the chef? No. I think he went back to Bulgaria or Romania no, or someplace. No, no, I mean your father. Did I say he was dead? Well, well, you said poor old father. Well, you don't have to be dead to be poor old father. Don't even have to be poor. I suppose you don't have to be old either. Not so terribly. Well, I wouldn't go around saying poor old father, squeezing sympathy out of people. I wasn't trying to squeeze any sympathy. But you think a fella has a right to think of his folks once in a while? So when I said poor old father... What are you father, going to look for? I said when I said poor old father... In the father, morning, I... what kind of a job? Oh. Oh, I don't know. What do you suggest? Well, I'd... I'd aim a little higher, I think. Wouldn't do any harm, you know. Can't you do anything besides wait on table? I can't even wait on the table. All I know is how to take the dishes off. Didn't you study to be anything? Anything like what? Oh, like a... Like a dentist or something. Mm -mm. Well, how did you expect to while away the hours after you grew up? <laughs> I didn't have to study to do that. In training, I've whiled away an hour and 26 minutes flat. Huh. Of course, I always had a dream that one day I'd be able to do it in 25, but I remember there was a fellow in college called Underdunk who had the longest oh, legs. Oh, shut up. Come to think of it, it wasn't Underdunk, it was Overdunk. You know, I'm awfully glad you came into the automat. Mm, so am I. Good night. Night. <sighs> Say. leading international financier has gone foof with his wife over a beautiful gal and followed her over to the Hotel Louis. Oh. Uh -huh. Many things are clear today which previously were murky. Yeah. Oh, I know. Over the wire. I said over to the Hotel Louis. It's simply swarming with bankers. What's the matter with this hotel? It isn't fashionable, dear. 
you will notice when J.B. Ball wants to pick a dillo. He doesn't pick it here. He goes over to the Hotel Lewis. Hello? 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 Hello, hello? This is the V-16 Company of America. That you want to fry? Did I ever fry? Oh, oh no, of course I've never driven one, no. Now, we had a Saxon. Yes. Yes, well, I suppose they are different. Well, what do you want to do that for? Oh, well, I'll take your word for it. Yes, but look, even if I did want it, what would I use for... Oh, but, mister, you... Look, please, you don't... Yeah, I know, but I... Yeah. Well, all right. All right. Yes, you can put two chauffeurs in it. It'll make you happy. Um, uh, pink. Well, well, any color you like. All right. All right. Goodbye. Yes? Yes, this is Miss Smith. Well, well, just fine. How did you sleep? <laughs> Who? Well, you have to say it again. Cart what? Oh, oh, car A. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. I, yeah, I've got it. Uh -huh. But, oh, no, no, I haven't any of those. I'm sorry. You make, you make what? Oh, yes, well, that's wonderful. That's, that's lovely, but I don't want any jewelry. No, no. Uh, wait a minute. Yes, 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 this is me. Oh, please, please don't do that. How do you know I'm honest? Maybe I'll run away with them. Uh, no, I don't want to. I've already got a fur coat. Look, um, Mr. Mr. Carey, look, you see, I just got up and I'd like to take a bath. Yes. I said I'd want to take a bath. Look, if you just give me a chance to wake up. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, the missus gone hunting. Now, the hunting with hounds on an horse. <laughs> I beg your pardon? No, I said an horse, an equine, you know. <laughs> what do you mean, how big a switch? She gets what we give. Hello? No, 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 no. We don't give any information from the customers. What kind of a dump do you think this is? Mary Smith. Here, here. When a man takes the trouble to come here... Yeah, 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 yeah. Please, 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 please. Hello? 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 Is this you, Louis? This is Mr. J.B. Ball. Uh -huh. I want some information. Sorry, madam, but uh, I think you got the wrong Louis. Did you have a pleasant night, Mr. Ball? Mr. B., good morning. Good I want morning. to see you. That certain party call up, but I give her the bomb stairs. What? The storm strives, and she just give me a bus, but I got her entirely mystified. And you've got me entirely mystified, too. Cocktail waitress, $12 in tips. Oh, must have curves. Well, you've got them, haven't you? Oh, thank you, John. <laughs> Let us teach you tattooing. No. Say, hey, here's one I can do. Listen to this. Are you worried? Take your troubles to the professional listener. A dollar fifty an hour. What? There it is, right there in black and white. 
That's better than the automat. Hmm. Well, I don't know, Johnny. I don't think you'd make a very good listener. Well, there must be something for somebody that can't do anything. Well, look, here, um, attractive widow with small capital would like to meet gentlemen with sense of humor, huh? I guess I'm kind of dumb at that. Oh, no, you're not. You're just a little underdeveloped, that's all. I beg your pardon? Oh, well, it, it's only temporary, you know. It's just that some people develop sooner than others, that's all. But when those others are developed, why, they're just as well developed as the others, you see what I mean. It's like now you, <laughs> you take a chicken. Well, a chicken reaches maturity at, uh, well, whenever it is. But on the other hand, a horse, oh, a horse takes much longer. You think I'm the horse type? <laughs> you know, I think I'm kind of dumb sometimes myself. You're awfully sweet. Do you think so, Johnny? Yes. No, no, you, you finish your breakfast, I'll go. Smith, E.J. Holger and Company, stockbrokers, all principal cities. What? I want to make you some money, and the best way is in steel. Is it going up or is it going down? That's all we have to know. I'd like to make you a lot of money. Well, look, uh, that's wonderful. Go right ahead. Go ahead and what? Well, go ahead and whatever it is. Well, whatever it is, that's what I came to see you about. Shall I buy or shall I sell? Well, uh, why don't you just use your own judgment? That's the one thing in the world that I don't want to use. But if you could find out how he feels about it, if you could sort of worm it out of him, then we'd have something. Who? Him. Who's him? All Bay. Oh, Bay. Mr. Ball. Oh, oh, you mean him. Well, <laughs> well, I'll ask him, but I'm sure he doesn't know a thing about it. He's here? Yes, he's having his breakfast. I, I, I went out in the hall. What do you want to do that for? Don't mention my name. No. Uh, I don't even remember what it is. Oh, oh, look, look, sponge rubber neckties look like leather, way like iron. Johnny, Johnny, a man in the hall wants to know what you think about steel. Steel neckties? Or no, no, <laughs> plain steel. Is it going up or down? Oh, oh, down. Down, yeah. Mm. Uh, how do you know? Oh, my father told me. <laughs> you see, whenever it looks like rain, the stock market goes down, like a dog follows a cat. You're sure now? Oh, I've made a deep study of it. Oh, all right. Uh, he says it's going down. Down? Down. D Holy smoke. Down. 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 Going up there? No. Down. Yes, down. That steel is going up. It's the chance we've been waiting for, gentlemen. Did you win? Steel is going up. Why are all shipments so heavy? What? Stop fooling with that pen. Why is pig iron sawing? What does it mean when steel scrap is scarcer than hen's teeth? Have you got a pin? Huh? No. I tell you that steel is due for a big drop. Double exclamation point. This is the greatest opportunity the clients of E.J. Holger and Company have ever had to participate in advanced information from the world's greatest expert on steel. Triple exclamation point. And Mr. Salmon of London, and Mr. Jonas, and Mr. Metzger, and Lord B. All right, all right. Take a letter. Uh, Miss Mary Smith, care of the boys, um, what do you call it? New York, New York. Uh, no, make that the, uh, the Hotel Louis, New York, New York. What is this anyway, my dear Miss Smith? No, uh, my dear Mary. Um, uh, My dear Mary. Don't rush me. Where was I? My dear Mary. Oh, oh, oh. My dear Mary. There was a schoolboy called Jones. Make his name Willie. Willie Jones. No, no, just plain Willie. And I want it on plain paper. We got any plain paper? If we haven't, we can get some. All right. There was a schoolboy called uh, Willie Jones. Just Willie. I said his name was Jones. We wanted a hundred marbles to play a game of Maggie. Aggies. Or whatever you call it. Have you got that? Of course I have. All right. Now, his friend is this here. Tell the porter to come clean it up. On the other hand, his uh, friend Henry, his friend, he his steel is too low. Buy a thousand at the market. Tell Mr. Hyde to come in here. 
Send Mr. Hyde in. On the other hand, his friend Henry. On the... Five more. And tell that fellow to hang on the end of the line. Five more. Ten more and watch it. Is it ready for Mr. Hyde? Yes, sir. Get me Kirk and Company. Kirk and Company. On the other hand, his friend Jack said... Friend's name was Henry. What do you mean his name was Henry? Kirk and Company on one. Hello. Hello, I'll talk to the colonel. There. I always thought his name was Jack. There's somebody over there trying to pull something. If they think they can kid me, they're crazy. Hello, Kirk. This is Ball. I want 50 steel. What? No, no. 50,000. Yeah, right. Where's Hyde? He's in the barber shop. He's always in the barber shop. You tell that fat head from me that if he is. Oh. This is a fine time to be fixing your hair. Well, I was only. Buying... I don't care where you were. If you paid more attention to the stock market, less to your head. This is unfair, Mr. Ball. Don't you, Mr. Ball, me. 550 more. 50 more. Now you get down the floor where you belong. Well, 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 well how, how, how about my hair? I don't care anything about your hair. Get out of here. Well, is there anything happening? Why don't you get down there and find out? Hello? Hello? Hello! Are we alone? I I mean, can you talk? Good. Well, you just made eighteen thousand dollars. What do you mean eighteen thousand dollars? That's right, two times nine. Call me at once if you get any more news. Goodbye. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, what? what did you say? What? Ruth, what are you? Eighteen thousand dollars. <laughs> oh no, no. Uh, this one is two hundred thousand dollars. Two hundred. But I said that. Uh, 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 Johnny, I'm going to buy a dog. You know, one of those great big woolly ones, Johnny, with the bangs all over its Mary, Mary, Mary. Oh, I, I know it'll have fleas, but I don't care. I've wanted one all my life. Oh, snap out of it, please. Johnny, Johnny, we've just made eighteen thousand dollars. Nine thousand for you. Is there a doctor in the house? And 50. 20 more. Get me Kirk and Company. As your partners, J.B., we, we don't want to buy any more Keep quiet. Hello. Uh, no, I didn't say that to you. Hello, Kirk. Listen. Yeah. All right. Well, you get me all that you can swing. We think it very unwise. We absolutely refuse to buy any more steel. You'll run us all into bankruptcy. You're in bankruptcy now, you fathead. The only thing that'll save us is steel. My poor old wife. Go and sit down someplace. Get me Noise and Company. Twenty more. Noise and Company. That was Mrs. Ball's lawyers, Fitz and O'Neill. Twenty more. What do they want? Ten more. Ten more. Mrs. Ball's divorcing you. Holy smoke! Twenty more. Twenty more. Extra, extra. Read all about it. Probably my old man's pulling a fast one. I forgot you don't know my old man, do you? Quarter just vanished. Let me see that, Quarter quick, person 29. Hey, wait a minute. Let me see that. Say, where's the subway? What's the matter, Come here, Nick. Come on, give me a minute. Why don't you use the car? Subway's fast. I'll see you later, Mary. Hey, you big lug, give me my gun. Stop doing that. Hello? 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 Mr. Hyde. Yeah, Lester. No? It's no use, J.B. We can't turn it. Looks as if everybody in the country's selling. Yeah. I'll take it easy. Take it easy. You did the best you could. Yeah. We might buy, uh... No, never mind. All right. Yeah, goodbye. Goodbye. 
Why don't you birds go out and eat somewhere? You too, Lily, then get me a sandwich. I have one for you outside, Mr. Ball. Put it on the desk. <laughs> Jenny! Junie, I didn't know. There, there, my gracious. You know I'd scrub floors for you, Junie. I'd do anything. We've been through tighter squeaks than this. Haven't scrubbed any floors yet. But I would. Of course you would, and you'd probably do a fine job of it. Thank you, Junie. And, uh, and I forgive you everything. Even the, the girl at the Hotel Louis. Now, oh, look here, you've got me mixed up with somebody else. I did just spend the night at the Hotel Louis, yes. Oh, I, I don't expect you to admit it. After all, you're a handsome, forceful man. And, well, I'm not exactly the debutante you married. Oh, now, Jenny, I've got trouble enough. Out of simple decency, you ought to... I wouldn't talk about decency if I were you, Junie. Come in. Hello, Father. Hello, Mother. Ha! The prodigal. Anything I can do? Anything but floor scrubbing. Your mother's spoken for that. How can you be so cruel, Junie? Well, I'm not cruel, Jenny. I'm just laying out the work. When everything was going so nice. Every cloud has a silver lining. Never mind the weather. We got a lot of things to worry about. Why don't oh, you look well, at it? Oh, excuse me. Look what I've got, Mr. Louis. Come on. Come on up, Snoops. And I got something for you, Bubba Goldfish. Look, put him right here, Mr. Hornsby. Nah. About eight in there, I think. Come on. Uh, I am dying, and she's bringing the animals. Did you see the papers? Yes, I saw the headline. It says that certain party is stuttering. And every time he's stuttering, I am tittering. Oh, did something happen to your hotel, Mr. Louis? Oh, if he's in the soup, the Hotel Louis is blowing. Who, who's in the soup? The certain party that give you the sables. What sables? My dear young lady, we're all alone. Will you please cut the tragedy? But I haven't got any sables. I am trying to give you my friendship. And she plays poos around the corner. What is this? A horse? No, Smarty, it's Kalinsky. Me and you both. Well, if you don't believe me, ask, ask uh, Mr. Van Buren. <clears throat> well, if it's uh, just the same to you, I'd rather remain on the sidelines. He's the one who told me. Well, if, if, if this is Sable, he, he must have made a mistake. You, 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 you wouldn't give a Sable coat to a stranger, would you? Uh, who, me? Never. Uh, what, what was the name of the gentleman that helped you order my supper last night? Too far is enough. The imperial suit for one buck a day with breakfast, one egg, I don't mention. The bottle of woolly, 1919, guinea pigs, uh, hunky dory. But when you tell me that you don't even know the name of J.B. Ball, my dear young Do you friend. mean to tell me that, 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 that old gentleman is J.B. Ball? Mm -hmm. And you thought I took a sable coat from him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, Snoopy! Mm. Come on, Mr. Hornby, we'll cross you around here. Get out somewhere, get out! Put that back on the icebox. Such a humiliation. Oh, that's terrible. What do you suppose made it crash? A little stock called steel that you probably don't know anything about. This little stock dropped 40 points since it opened this morning. I guess that answers your question. So steel went down. Down is right. Well, that's certainly very funny. Well, it's better than you to take a joke. No, no, I mean because I told it was going down when that screwball in the hall wanted to know. What screwball in what hall? I didn't see him. But you know how it is when somebody comes in and asks you how you feel about steel while you just naturally... Who comes in? The girl I met on the automat. Since when are you eating in the automat? I don't eat there. I work there. Or I used to. You mean when they put these things out at you? Yeah, yeah. So when she said there was a screwball in the hall who... Didn't I already say that? No. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. So I said casually, of course, not meaning a thing. I thought the weather looked kind of threatening and that consequently steel would go down. <laughs> he said steel would go down because the weather was bad. There's your son for you. But I told you I was only joking. 
<laughs> Don't you know you can't make jokes about Steele with a name like Ball? Well, I did. Say, I wonder if this Mary know who that guy was. Not that it matters. Mary who? Mary Smith. Mary Smith? Yes, Mary Smith. Say, haven't I got a right to know a girl called Mary Smith? You mean Mary Smith? This is a Hotel Louis? Yeah. Say, wait a minute. How did you know she at the Hotel Louis? I thought the whole world knew it. Let me the Hotel Louis. You told me she didn't know you. Don't you read the papers, dear? Hello, is it the Hotel Louis? I want to talk to Mr. Louis. Yes, Mr. B. Oh, that one. Mm, I threw her out. <laughs> huh? But Mr. B, she's a phony from Fonabelle. She told me she was your palsy walsy. And then she eat me out of the house and the... But, but, but... But how I am supposed to know, Mr. B? I am not a, a diplomat. I am a great cook. I am a the, the, the Mr. What's the matter? Yes. Uh, this time the goose is geese, or vice versa. I tell you, you can't see it. But I've got to see him. It's terribly important. Now, now, now. No, you don't understand. He's made a very expensive mistake. Look, Mr. Ball is that busy if the King of France himself come on bended knees. In the first place, France hasn't any pardon king. Me, and pardon me, pardon oh, me. I don't know. Come on, fellas. Hello. Police department? Give me Captain Jackson of the traffic squad. I want a V-16 picked up. What? You say you fired him? Number 8C9982. Say, listen, is this the boys what you call it? And I'm... Uh, Why I'm, don't you get these things unsnarled? I can't talk no over the phone. There's no time to fix anything in Hello. this bad house. Uh, it's a big V-16, and Mr. Ball wants it picked up right oh, away. Oh, so, all right. Well, any time I can do you a favor, you big fat head, you let me know. Where did you say you left her? At a pet shop on 6th Avenue and 35th Street. Get me a list of pet shops right away. A list of pet shops. Why should she pretend she didn't know him? The less we know, dear, the happier we're apt to be. Was she wearing anything unusual you could identify her by? She had on two English sheepdogs, a goldfish bowl, a pair of parrots. Is that unusual enough? Oh. She had on two English sheepdogs. No, 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 she didn't have oh. She bought two English sheepdogs, a goldfish bowl, and a couple of parrots. Say, you got those contracts say Mr. Um, I, I've got to see Mr. Ball. Could you, could you... Oh, you've got to see me? Mr. Ball? Yes. Would you like to see him in person? Thanks no. very much. Now, in the movies. Say, say, now, look at me. Come here, fellas. Listen, fellas, when I say go, you go like anything, see? All right. One, two, three. Go! Hey! Hey, what? Right down here, do you know this isn't Kalinsky at all? It's Sable, and I knew you wouldn't give me Sable. Oh, you mean he didn't give you the coat? Well, I didn't know he was your father. Well, supposing you didn't, there's any reason why you should get a coat from the guy? I don't wait a minute, know. Wait a minute, wait a minute, shut up, both of you. If I could get a word in edgeways around here with one of my unimportant quibbles, we'll get somewhere. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Now. Did you tell anybody Mr. Ball said Steele was going down? Uh, only Mr. Hulger. Only Mr. Hulger? And H all the principal cities. Oh, you don't mean E.J. Hulger and company? That must have been the screwball in the hall. Well, this is a fine time to find it out. Well, didn't you want it to go down? No, no, no! Hey, B, your blood pressure. No! Then why doesn't you tell him it's going up? Tell who? Hulger. If a thing works once, it'll work twice. What do you mean, tell Hulger of all the nonsensical, idiotic idea I ever heard in my life? That... Ha! Yes? Yes? Yes, th this is me. Well, this is me. I've got some very important news. Steel is going up. Do you understand? Up? Holy smoke. We'll have to cover right away. You'd better get plenty of covers. And listen, I don't know what this means, but I understand that he's got it, uh, He's got it, uh, uh, What? What? 
Oh, give me a piece of paper, quick. Cornered. You cornered, yes, he's got it cornered. Do you know what that means? Holy mackerel. Are, are you sure? Goodbye. And don't forget to tell all the principal city. Where's Hyde? He's, He's in, in the, the barbershop. I thought so. Mr. Ball wants you right away. Ball, get me out of here. Let me up. Mr. Ball wants me. I told you I didn't know who he was. So when I said I didn't know who, your father, I didn't know him because I didn't know he was your father. Ha. Ha. Then why'd you take the coat? I didn't want to, but your father kept saying that I shouldn't be a smarty and that I shouldn't know all the answers and... Besides, you don't know what a fur coat means to a girl who never even had a, a tippet. Huh. <laughs> well, how nice my coat looks on you. Did you have it altered, Miss Smith? I don't blame you for believing anything you want to believe about me. If I loved a man the way you love Mr. Ball, and I thought someone was trying to steal him away from me, why? Now, Mary, please. But if why, why this big lug, who practically spent the weekend with me, who, who shared the whole thing with me, who, who I thought was my friend, why he should believe all of Oh, calm me. yourself, I, please. Oh, go soak your head in the bucket. Here, here. Hooray! Buy a hundred! Hey, what's going on around here? Buy another 50. Johnny, you don't suppose? Buy 50 more. Jamie, when, when do we sell? sell? When it hits 100. Say, what's going on around here anyway, when it hits 100? <laughs> when it hits 100. <laughs> Please, I... want to be complicated. Oh. Johnny, Johnny, don't let them take me away. No, I haven't no, done anything. No, no, no. Where's Mr. Ball? Hi, Mr. Ball. What do you want? Are you the party that wanted her back so bad and so quick? No, I'm Mr. Ball. I wanted her back. J.B. steals 105. J.B. steals 105. Well, sell 100. Make it 200. <laughs> sell 100. Sell 200. Hey, you. Come on up here and go to work. All right, all right, clear the sidewalk. It's just a little misunderstanding. Not so little as you think. Mary, come here, come in. Mary, Mary, I've got a job. Oh, Johnny! So have you. What is it? Cooking my breakfast. Didn't I tell you you couldn't have that coat? But you... Now let go of it, let go of it. Johnny, this is where we came in. <laughs> 